Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, it's 8.30, so we've got a, a very uh, busy program today, so we should get started on time. And uh, so I'm Paul Glare, I'm Chair of Pain Medicine at the University of Sydney and Director of the Pain Management Research Institute here at the Colling. I'm also Co-Chair of the Pain and Supportive Care Pillar of Sydney Vital. And I'd like to welcome you to our symposium today, and I'll begin by... Um, Acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet, the Garingai people, and uh, we can join in paying our respects to their eldest past and present. Um, so firstly, um, I would like to welcome you, and as you can see, we're uh, from the title, uh, we're covering cancer pain across the spectrum. We've got a, a very uh, broad uh, spectrum of uh, speakers. We've got sci basic scientists, we've got philosophers, we've got uh, people from most medical specialties and people from other health sciences speaking on the program. Um, and I'd like, to, I'd like to also begin by thanking Sydney Vital who are um, paying for this free event completely. There's no uh, industry sponsorship of it. Um, it's, it's a free event. There's uh, free lunch, free coffee. I, I should say that we decided to um, dump the afternoon coffee break and just go straight on and because uh, it's only a short break from lunch and then get finished and um, have a drink and do some networking. Um, I should also say that the, um, the whole day is being recorded and Sydney Vital has a uh, YouTube channel and all of the lectures are going to be on the YouTube channel to watch it's going to apparently take a week or two to go up there, but um, they'll be all up there. So um, if you trust that, you don't need to take any notes. If you don't trust that, then you, then you uh, can take some notes. But unfortunately, we don't have printouts of the, of the uh, slides or anything like that. Um, so all the, all the uh, refreshments are going to be out here. There are some bathrooms along there. There's no free Wi-Fi, unfortunately. You can log in if you're uh, employed at the University of Sydney or the LHD. You can log in to their uh, networks, but I'm sorry, we don't have any free Wi-Fi available, apparently, for security reasons. Um, so I, I'd just like to say briefly, I uh, don't, don't want to hold things up, but I've been working in cancer pain and palliative care for about 30 years. When I started back in the 80s, it was when the World Health Organization made cancer pain a priority. And I recall back in those days when I was a registrar that, <coughs> you know, it was pretty bad to get cancer. Most people presented late. Even if they were diagnosed early, there wasn't a lot you could do for them. People who had non-small cell lung cancer back then essentially had six months to live if they were inoperable. And, uh, you know, providing pain relief was often all you could do. Um, you know, there's been a, this, you know, really, I guess it is a revolution. Uh, due to the work of uh, the Cancer Institute that supports Sydney Vital and researchers around the world. You know, cancer's really become a chronic illness now and most people can expect to live five years, many people live for ten years and uh, many of them don't have pain anymore aside from maybe some post-surgical pain after their operation and often the pain that's seen is pain from cancer treatment or else unrelated comorbidities that have got nothing to do with the cancer. So. Um, in, in that context, and plus the um, in increasing concerns about the limitations of opioids, and uh, both in terms of their safety and their efficacy, and uh, that may be relevant to cancer survivors because of some uh, potential issues for um, tumour regrowth, etc. That um, you know, we thought it was time to look at this thing, and and so um, you know, we, we like I said, we've assembled um, experts from all areas of. Uh, of pain and um, from locally as well as around the country and we've got speakers coming from Queensland, Melbourne and Tasmania. So um, I'm going to uh, chair the first and the final session and uh, colleagues are going to chair the other two sessions. Um, and uh, so I think also that because it's a pretty tight program there, there probably won't be a lot of time for questions. I mean it just depends. You need to keep it moving along. Um, and it, it's really meant to be kind of more a state of the science rather than uh, that, but uh, than really have, having you know, long discussions about things. But anyway, um, 
you know, uh, we, we're trying to uh, allow one or two questions as long as we don't get too far behind the schedule to get have coffee and lunch, etc. So, um, anyway, uh, we're, we also won't have these long introductions, so I'm going to start off by um, inviting my colleague, Charles Brooker, who is Head of the Department of Pain Management at, uh, in the LHD and Associate Professor at the University, to speak to us um, on interventional techniques for cancer pain management. Thanks, Charles.